What's up guys, Afik here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So for today's video, I want to make a video explaining a system that is getting more and more common in today's new car. In fact, that particular system is now a requirement if a manufacturer would want a 5 star crash test rating on their vehicle. The system that I'm talking about today is the ADAS or also known as the Advanced Driver Assistance System. So what is ADAS? Well, in simple terms, the ADAS is a suite of active safety features that allows the vehicle to reach a level 2 semi-autonomous driving. In such a way, the vehicle can actually drive itself, but only to a certain level. Now, the ADAS system is not just one system. It is a suite of multiple systems combined in making the entire ADAS system. So without further ado, this is ABB Automotive. So as I mentioned before, the ADA system allows the car to have a level 2 semi-autonomous capability. With that being said, the system is more of a safety feature that aids the driver. In a sense, it does not give you an excuse to completely let go of handling the vehicle. It is reminded that you should always pay full attention when you are handling or driving a car. Now the first system or the system that I consider the most basic form of EDAS is called the Blind Spot Information System or also known as BLAZE. So this system uses a sensor that is located at the rear side of your vehicle on both sides. The system is there to detect any vehicle or object that is located in your blind spot. Typically, the system projects a light warning on your side mirror or A pillar when the object is detected. It will give an audible beep or warning sound if the indicator is switched on and an object is detected within this blind spot. This system allows the driver to be aware of its blind spot all the time. Next one is the rear cross traffic alert. So this system uses the same sensors as the Bliss plus the rear parking sensor to sense any incoming traffic approaching while you are reversing your vehicle. A more advanced system would also include automatic braking when the system sends an independent crash about to happen and apply the brake automatically for you. Next up, we have the pedal miss operation control. Using the radar or sensor located on the front and rear of the vehicle, it detects any solid object like a wall and override the pedal input should the driver accidentally step on the accelerator. This can prevent the driver from accelerating into the wall or backing up accidentally into something from a standstill. Again, like the system before, an audible warning will be given to the driver. The next ADA system is the front departure alert. Using the same sensor while the vehicle is in drive, the sensor will notify the driver once the car in front moves away and the driver does nothing. This is useful while waiting at the traffic light or stuck in a bumper to bumper traffic. It prevents the driver from holding out traffic or getting distracted in this situation. This is especially common nowadays when you are waiting in traffic and you are too busy Facebooking. Next up, we have something called the Dynamic Radar Cruise Control or also known as the Adaptive Cruise Control. On top of the capability of the system to maintain a set cruising speed by the driver, as the name implies, the system is further enhanced with a radar or front sensor that also detect the speed of the vehicle in front of you. The radar allows the system to maintain a safe distance of your vehicle with the vehicle in front. On a more advanced model, it can even slow down your vehicle to a complete stop should the car in front of you stop as well. Now the system will go back to its original set cruising speed once the vehicle that is in front of you goes away. I especially find this system quite useful especially if you are driving on the highway. The radar that is located at the front of the vehicle, typically at the grille area, as well as the camera that is located at the front windshield combined to make the scanning and detection mechanism for three more other systems. 
The first one being the lane departure warning as well as lane keeping assist. This system works by monitoring the lines on the road to assist the driver should it become necessary. Lane departure warning will give you an audible beep or warning if the system detects the vehicle crossing or wandering into another lane. Typically, the driver would have to correct the mistake themselves once they hear the warning. On a more expensive vehicle, the lane departure warning is assisted by the lane keeping assist that can actually auto-correct this mistake on its own by slowly turning the wheel and steering the vehicle back into its lane. While some manufacturer is able to maintain the vehicle smoothly in the center of the lane, others less sophisticated system tend to just bounce you from left to right like a ping pong ball within the lane that you are driving. Next up, we have the set of the forward collision warning system as well as the autonomous emergency braking or also known as AEB. Again, using the same radar and camera combo, forward collision warning monitors the distance of the vehicle in front of you when you are not engaging the dynamic radar cruise control. If the system detects you are following the vehicle in front at a rather close distance, the warning light will appear in your dashboard. In the event of a sudden braking of the vehicle in front, the rapid closure of distance will trigger an audible beep or warning to alert the driver of a sudden change of distance of your vehicle and the vehicle in front. By pressing the brake, the system will also prime the brake to operate at its full capacity even though the driver is only pressing the brake halfway. This can reduce the speed greatly of the vehicle to prevent any accident from happening. The AEB or Autonomous Emergency Braking System with detection further enhance the entire collision prevention system by providing a full emergency stop on its own once the radar detects any bicycle, humans, animals or even vehicles that suddenly come in front of the vehicle under certain threshold speed typically below 100 or 80 km an hour. In the case of the AEB system, it can fully apply the brakes even though the driver is not pressing anything in its effort to prevent the collision or the point of impact of the accident. The next system is the combination of the automatic high beam assist as well as the traffic sign recognition. So for the automatic high beam assist, as the name implies, this system uses a forward-facing camera to detect light of incoming traffic at night. Once the auto high beam is engaged, the system can switch between low or high beam automatically at night depending on the presence of an incoming traffic. This can eliminate you from accidentally blinding incoming driver at night but also provide a clear lead vision once the road gets really dark. The last and final system which is the traffic recognition system operates by scanning the road and looking for any road sign in front of you. The system does so by cross-referencing road sign via numbers, colors as well as shape to automatically identify what road sign is located in front of you. With those particular signs detected, the system can imply the input into other systems such as the adaptive cruise control to signal the driver to set within the speed limit of the road. For example, while this system is not perfect, it can only work under the road sign registered based on the Vienna Convention on Road Sign and Signal, which Malaysia does not follow. Hence, this system is less known and largely not available in Malaysian pack vehicle, which I think is a shame. So there is guys a basic explanation of the other system in your vehicle. Now most manufacturers will bundle together all of these systems into one safety feature. For Toyota, they call this the Safety Sense System, while Honda is naming it Honda Sensing. So there you go guys, we have come to the end of this video. I hope that my explanation today is somewhat helpful in giving you some info on the function of other system that is located in your car. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, this system allows for the vehicle to have a level 2 or semi-autonomous driving, which the vehicle is capable of driving itself to a certain level. But this does not excuse you from being lazy or unattentive behind the wheel. You should always take extra careful and be alert while you are driving the vehicle. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe. And again, I would like to say thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care, and have a nice day.